Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice query problem? Solution from what we have here. We can take the square on both sides directly. That is, here we have square root of x minus 5 plus square root of x plus 2 all squared on this side, then equals to 7 squared on this side that is from here this follows from a plus b all squared which is same thing as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab that is what we have here becomes root x minus 5 squared plus root x plus 2 squared and plus 2 times root x minus 5 then times root x plus 2 which is equals to 7 squared 7 times 7 that's 49 that is here yeah, we have square cancel square roots and this will mean x minus 5 plus also square cancel square roots we have x plus 2 then plus here we can bring this together from where we have root a times root b which can be written as root a times b together so here we have 2 then square root of x minus 5 then multiply by x plus 2 here then equals to 49 on this side then we can simplify here and what we have here becomes x plus x that's 2x the minus 5 plus 2 that's minus 3 then plus 2 multiply by square root of here we can expand this and x multiply first x times here is we have x square then plus 2x minus 5 multiply we have minus 5x then minus 10 equals to 49 from here that is this also can be written as 2x minus 3 plus 2 times square root of here becomes x square 2x minus 5x become minus 3x the minus 10 which is equals to 49 from here then we can take 2x and minus 3 to the other side and we are left with 2 times square root of x square minus 3x minus 10 on this side which is equals to here we have 49 plus 3 then plus 2x comes here become minus 2x which implies this gives us 2 times square root of x square minus 3x minus 10 then equals to 52 here minus 2x that is here we can factor 2 out here then we have 2 then square root of x square minus 3x minus 10 then equals to 2 into bracket here give us 20 6 minus x here then we can divide both sides by 2 here that is divide here by 2 and also divide here by 2 here this cancel each other and this also cancel each other here then we are left with x square minus 3x minus 10 equals to 26 minus x here then from here this is containing square roots 
so it's only two that is cancelled then next step here let's take the square root on both sides i mean the square to cancel the square root we take the square on both sides then we have square root of x square minus 3x minus 10 squared then equals to 26 minus x all squared from here that this square cancel square root here so we have x square minus 3x minus 10 now equals to the expansion here becomes 26 squared plus x squared then minus 2 times 26 times x that is this also becomes x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals to we can still write this as 26 square then plus x square then <clears throat> here we have minus 52x then from here we subtract x square on both sides so minus x square here and minus x square here this cancel each other then we are left with minus 3x minus 10 then equals to here yeah, 26 square we can write it as 26 times 26 which is 676 then minus 52x from here then we collect the like terms here so we have minus 3x here then minus 52x comes here become plus 52x which is equal to 676 the minus 10 comes here become plus 10 then here minus 3x plus 52x it was 49x equals to 686 from here that is here yeah, we divide both sides by 49 that is divide this side by 49 and this cancel each other and we have x equals to 686 over 49 here give us 14 so therefore the value of x in this given problem is equals to 14 now we can check to confirm if this satisfies the given problem from what we have which is root x minus 5 plus root x plus 2 equals to 17 now when we put 14 here this becomes root 14 minus 5 plus root 14 plus 12 this is equal to 7 from here and here we have 14 minus 5 that's 9 that's root 9 plus here 14 plus 2 rather we have 2 in the question not 12 from what you are given there that's 2 that's x plus 2 so here 14 plus 2 here that's 16 is it equals to 7 here so root 9 here that's 3 then plus root 16 that's 4 is it equals to 7 and root this 3 plus 4 of course that's 7 which is equals to 7 left hand side equals to the right hand side and hence from here we have x equals to 14 satisfies this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on put, put your comment in the comment section and see you next class bye for now